Hey guys, it's Kamja here. Uh, I'm currently the seventh explorer in the NAU server. Uh, I'm here with an explorer guy just because he needs more content. He needs, yeah, he needs more coverage. Um, but yeah, if if you're just getting started, I hope this helps you. Let's look at his persona webs. So I have three webs that are pre-made for him here. You can pause the video, I'll just flick through them um, if you need. I only really use one, which is the... It's the standard 369 with one stack in sneak, which is, yeah, this one. It's really good because I, I just love sneak so much. It helps you make surprise rescues and you don't have to walk towards the chair to hide your trails, which, trust me, if you walk towards the chair, you will not make it there in time. Um, so yeah, Sneak is just so good. I, I love it. <laughs> uh, just to show you what a 3 9 persona would look like, it's 3 stacks in Airwalk, which is pre pretty nice if you want to be prepared to kite. Um, you can lose the hunter if you're lucky, since your trail disappears 3 seconds quicker in total if you add on his base trait. Um, I would only use 3-9 if the other three characters are all rescuers or harassers though. And this one, it takes the best of both. I use this quite often, but you have to be really careful. Just because you won't even have knee jerk to help you if you end up kiting, which explorers do have to kite sometimes. Just be aware of that. But yeah, this is this is the best one for me. Just I need that knee jerk to help me if I get caught or just to help me get around the map so you can get your pages faster so yeah this is this is my recommendation <laughs> so let's move on okay so let's talk about early game uh, the first clip is just what I do in a best case scenario when both myself and my page spawn away from the hunter so the painter is being chased here and what you want to do is find your first page immediately. So I know this is self-explanatory sometimes but you want to find your page and decode 50% of your nearest cipher normally and then use the page. The reason why I don't um, do what a lot of other explorers do is running around finding all the pages at the start. Um, is because initial cipher rush, I think, in my opinion, is really important. Just, of course, the ci you know you know how many pages you have and how many ciphers are technically done, but it's good for boosting your teammates. Um, and I just I I don't know I I feel more comfortable playing this way. So you need to get those first three ciphers down as fast as possible and. Your page uh, digging is faster than normal decoding, so you will it will be faster. Um, I also usually play as a secondary or tertiary rescuer, which is because I carry tide towards late game, and I will need to find all three if my pa teammates are decoding. Okay, so next clip is the scenario where you or your page spawns near the hunter. So you can see he's coming towards here. Um, my rule of thumb is to find an obstacle to hide behind if your hunter is within 50 meters away and is approaching. Then you can walk. You do not run or crouch around the object. You walk and slowly sneak away. So yeah. Um... So in this next clip, it's an important thing to know is that when you finish digging a page, the hunter will get notified. So here, um, she teleported right to me. She was chasing forward and she knew there was a decoder here. Uh, I was lucky to be near a tree, but sometimes when you tell when the hunter teleports, you won't have time to run away. Um, but I know that some explorers prefer to hide in the grass, but I usually use that as a last resort if there's really nowhere to hide. Since if you, if you get caught crouching in the grass, it's almost guaranteed that you'll get downed immediately after because you have to stand up, you have to 
change from tiny to big mode and by then the attack recovery will be up and you're down so i i don't know i've never felt comfortable hiding in grass but i do use it if there's nowhere else uh, so this is a full gameplay of what my typical game looks like um, run towards your page uh, hunter is coming here hide behind an obstacle I heard the umbrella so I'll move near my page while it's on cooldown I know the mercenary is decoding there so it's a good thing I can have this cipher for myself <clears throat> So the hunter is coming over here, but since I know the mercenary is there, and he will get chased, as long as he doesn't come and kite over here, I won't be too stressed. Um, he wants to check for survivors, but I'm not too I'm not stressed about this either because the umbrella doesn't detect me when I'm in tiny mode. I was about to prime my page here, but since he gets notified, but he teleported to a shaking cipher anyway. Um, so the priestess got caught. Which is like, I think it's another perk of playing Explorer is that he can get 50% of that cipher done without being exposed by the cipher shaking. So if you hide well, you won't get chased. Or Although there are exceptions to that, like Quenching Thirst, Wanted Order, but um. Some hunters will wait out Quenching Thirst to find you if you are the only decoder, so something to be cautious of is that um, they can still find you somehow. If you're unlucky enough, I guess. Um, another thing about Wu Chang that's happened to me quite often is that you can teleport with us the umbrella and you won't have time to hide if you, he's right in front of you. Um, but if you watch my Wu Chang kite video, that happened exactly. Like, that's exactly what happened there. Um, so I had to kite. Uh... So, lesson learned: make sure you prime your pages if no one has been chased, and you don't know which trait the hunter has to prepare for a teleport. Um, one thing you want to be careful of uh, on certain maps, I think especially for me is moonlit um lakeside leo's memory sometimes and arms factory maybe yeah i think those are the biggest ones for me is your silhouette so i like to stay in tiny mode until i at least know which hunter it is um if it's a high mobility hunter like mary or wu chang and and you're going from tiny to big mode you're spamming it, <laughs> it's really eye-catching and you really don't want to be seen from far away. Um, so just avoid doing that early game or late game. Um, unless you're, you're completely sure you're behind a wall or a building. So some tips on Explorer and different hunters. I could go into more detail on this, but um, maybe that's another video. Um, when he's in small mode, he can't be detected by Wu Chang's umbrella. Uh, Mary's mirror image can't see you. Uh, Leo's puppets won't chase you. And if you have an, uh, a butterfly stuck to you, Geisha can't, can't dash if you're in tiny mode. Uh, but I think something to be really be careful of is, which I see a lot, is that when you're in tiny mode, you you are slightly slower, and you shouldn't you shouldn't be in tiny mode for the whole of your kite. You will get caught. Um, so it's best to use it to your advantage momentarily. Um, so I also like to do that behind walls, if I'm kiting in a high wall area or in buildings, you can check where the hunter is, uh, you won't get mind game like that. Uh, so yeah, uh, next is survivors that I think go well, won't go well with Explorer. Number one survivor that goes well with Explorer, in my opinion, is Prisoner. I think this duo is so underrated. Um, 
it's it's you can transfer pages between two ciphers. You can pop ciphers easily with this duo. Um, you can. I've had one time where we've gone from four ciphers to one ciphers remaining in a few seconds. Um, I think it's just really powerful. I don't think I've seen many of this duo around, and it's it's pretty underrated. And it'll be nice to see it more especially if mechanic has been banned um you can still cypher rush like this and neither of them are neither of them have kiting debuffs despite being decoders and i yeah so arguably luca is the best decoder um decoder kiter um since he has that shock and Explorer should, if you hide well, you won't even be found. Um, so yeah, uh, survivors, other survivors. One thing to be careful about when you play with a seer on your team is the the owl that circles you at the start. So sometimes I like to be bold and I will go towards the hunter even if my page. Uh, I will go towards my page even if the hunter is over there. Just. I can waste their time by hiding and I don't want to I don't want to end up having to decode normally um, instead of finding my page. Um, but something to be careful of if you're going to do that is see as owl. A tiny one will circle you if you are in tiny mode and that can expose your location really easily. It's happened multiple times. And if you are caught hiding, it's usually a guaranteed down almost immediately. And yeah, be careful of that. Thanks for watching.